good day to you. I'm Lionheart Blue, and welcome to another episode of my Scrap Mechanic Survival Series. In this last, in the last episode, we were uh, created this uh, special kind of farm area. Unauthorized farm detected. Well, that's that's interesting. I'll tell you why. I've I've done some work since we were last. Um, yeah, I last recorded, and I have an underground. Uh, let me show you actually. Oh, I seem to be hungry. Let's give myself something to eat. Actually, I was thirsty. But I ate a burger anyway. Okay, it's quite far over here somewhere. There's the water. Yeah, so over here by the water, we have a... I thought they'd been destroyed for a minute. Feel like it fallen. So we have a pump, <coughs> a few pumps that are filling up all of this with water. Yeah. Um, and underground, which I suppose I can show you quick. Uh, what am I doing? Do I have any resources? I don't. I can't show you underground. Uh, underground there is a walkway that go, connects this all the way over to the farm over over here uh, but unfortunately it's out of range so right now that's going to stop filling the tanks um, so whatever water was in there while we were there is all I've got to water the farm with it doesn't refill unfortunately uh, but anyway, I've kind of given up on this idea for now. Uh, what I might do is create something that I can bring those, the water over here, have it, you know, I could bring the chests over here uh, and use that to water. Um, but we've had quite a few raids uh, and I'm surprised there's unauthorized, unauthorized farm detected because, um, yeah, I've hidden the button as well because that, could get, that was getting destroyed and stupidly I've placed all of these on here. Uh, but there's nothing... Oh. There are some. That would be why. Uh, I thought I got rid of everything. So that we didn't get another raid, but... So, uh, we've got this... I can I can now lift, raise that up. So I can stay under here. Uh, let me just get these out of the way while we're here. Uh, and... I was trying to perfect this watering system, so if I turn that on, it was missing a bit. But anyway, it's, it was set up to fire and spin round and raise up and down, so it should fill all this up. Uh, here you can see uh, where I've where I've come up. Uh, with my underwater, uh, underwater underground connection, uh, and then this is connected here. So this that's what links this um, cannon with that the water. So it's linked, but the water the water doesn't fill up. Um, oh, I was going to open that while I was underneath it. Yeah, so that doesn't quite work. But anyway, uh, you can see we had uh, quite a few raids. And uh, there's a number of haybots that were killed. Uh, I do have. Oh, I got some here. I could have shown you underground. Okay, so we're back. I've got the seats and we go underground now. And I'll show you. So you can see uh, this is actually underwater, so from here I can actually swim, which is a bit weird. Um, so there, I had an absolute abundance of this scrap metal I collected from the warehouse, so I used that, and I've connected, at some point, uh, I'm no, I'll am no, no longer be swimming, so I've got to be careful. Um, I think it's along here somewhere, I suddenly drop as the water stops. Yeah, you can see the line here, so now the water stops, and then I'm dropping, now I'm not in water anymore. So I connected this all the way. So 
It's probably a much more efficient way of doing this, but um, it's just how I did it for now. So this goes all the way to the farm. When I can, when I get here, I simply just can drop off. <laughs> oh no! I appear to have died. Well, that didn't work. Okay, well, I wanted to come back here anyway, but you get the gist. So let me collect all this up, and I'll explain what we're going to do today. So uh, I'm a few days behind everyone else so you've probably seen there's been an update to the game uh, just a small update for survival the rest of the updates were in creative again um, as we're waiting for chapter 2 the big the big survival update to come out um, so we're gonna head back to base and we're going to attempt to build a mini vehicle so the update means that the pumps now can collect any dropped items uh, cotton and pigment flowers so we're going to give that a test but I'm gonna move on from here oh, I'm going to take this I think I'm gonna take this with me and we'll come back and refine all this and that another time um, I need a bit more weight on the front, so I'm going to put it here. Right, I will see you back at home. Interesting. I've... Uh, sure, I've been down here many times. I've never seen a gold chest here before. At least I don't think I have. Seat. And tomato seeds. Well, that was worth it. Brilliant. I arrive at my base and already I can hear pistons moving when they shouldn't be and all sorts of random noises. Okay, so we've got plenty of uh, chests. I really, yeah, I know. I need to sort this out and I say it all the time. Uh, I'm not going to say it anymore. Uh, hopefully I've got uh, a pump somewhere I can use. Oops. Let's see if there's any any pumps anywhere right let me find all the stuff I need and I'll come back okay so I've got my chest I've got everything I believe I need engine wheel with bearings some building material pipes logic gates timer and some lights so we're going to build something really basic uh, with a pump on the front um, and then we're going to take it out and see what it does actually pick up and what it doesn't so let's go
it's a very basic um, but I just, it's just thought it was worth a try first so let's see if what happens here oh you have to get pretty close to it not that I'm complaining oh I'm trying to drive in reverse and getting the movements wrong so if I drove over this yeah see that didn't that didn't pick it up wow okay it's quite sensitive oh there we go uh, it might be that I need uh, the logic on like um, what's that down there that's oh, a block Yeah, it might be that I need logic on that that um, is uh, like triggering this uh, at a faster pace. I don't know if simply that one, you know, that that being on is enough. If you if you think about when it's pumping in water, it's um, you know, it's not not the fastest thing. If I just drop something down. Will it collect that as well? I'm not sure. Uh, actually, I want to drop it like this, I believe. So I think I might not be. I might be too high for it to collect that. We want to suck in. Reconnect the button. That picked it up. Nice. So that means that now, when my uh, the bots all get killed on here, I can now have a pump and a resource collector that moves along and picks up the legs and sucks up all of the circuit boards. So that's pretty good. I'm quite happy about that. Uh, so what I want to do is see it says cotton as well let me try and find some more let me find some more here we go some more flowers here hey when well, it works but it can't be I don't think you I don't know maybe it's better now it's lower let's see what happens uh, with the corn I'm not sure if corn was one that it does pick up, but yeah, it's picking that up as well. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to be pretty accurate. It's not getting that one. It does. It maybe it's more effective if if there was like three on here, give you a closer um, uh, sorry, a wider, wider spread. Um, maybe if I do put my logic down, that would be better as well. So we might give that a go. But we've collected uh, all the stuff that was on the ground, which is brilliant. So I know this is something that's been in the game um, via mods for a long time, but it's nice that they've, they've now finally introduced it into the vanilla game. It, it makes a, a massive difference with um, being able to collect resources from the ground. Um, obviously that doesn't, it won't be, I don't think it will pick up things like tote bot heads and things like that and, and legs. Um, but to pick up uh, any of the dropped materials, I think that's really cool. Uh, so I tell you what, I'm gonna I'm gonna add some some uh, a repeater on here, um, to see if I can get this working. I think you're probably limited to uh, the speed of the pump anyway. But let's get a repeater on and see if that makes any difference. Okay, so I've got some sort of uh, repeater on here. So if I now turn that on, you can see it repeating there, uh, and it's the 
middle logic that's attached to the pump. Um, I don't know if that will make any difference. I imagine you still got to be quite accurate, obviously. But like you know, at that speed, it's not. Yeah, see that speed. I don't know if it's the speed that the logic, sorry, that the pump, the vacuum pump, sucks at. Yeah, I think it, it for it's, it, it's there's a delay obviously in it sensing. But you know the reason I'm testing this, I was thinking that you know if you were able to like just drive over this and it'd suck it up straight away, but, you know, um, you'd be able to collect things really quickly on uh, on every single journey. You know, if you just leave that on and you drive over corn and drive over pigment flowers it just clicks it but you actually have to go sort of at a, a fairly slow pace for it to work see that only just picked that up so it's not a complaint it's just a, an observation um, you know I had ideas of how I would utilize it for example but so uh, yeah that's that for now so let me just explain uh, let's get this Oh, I don't know if I can get in here now with that thing on the back. Let's turn it off. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Another vehicle to find space for somewhere. So, what am I going to do to this base? My idea is I've got to dismantle. Uh, no, let me start from the beginning. This all needs to be tidied up. Alright, that's the first thing. Yes, I've said that many times. But it does. Uh, let me just collect my poop. I wish I could do this without falling in. It's not It's not an easy place to get out of again. Uh, so that's going to get tidied. That needs to get tidied up first. Then I'm going to dismantle any of the machines I don't use. Uh, the farm's going to stay it is. This whole thing is going to go as well. Uh, but I'm going to try and see if I can just take it up and save it uh, as a blueprint or something. Just in case I ever, ever want to bring it back again. Um, but yeah, I mean it's not needed. It's not... Well, it, it's needed, but there are much better ways of doing this. Uh, and I've had a few other ideas, so I think we're going to do that. Um, and that should help a little bit with them. actually the, the base isn't that laggy at the moment so it's it's not too bad it's it's just um, obviously when we come over here uh, I'm also going to change this up I really like this um, I need a door to get out but I really like the way this works but it's it's too yeah, it creates too much lag. I mean, that look. I think the way that works is just awesome. But unfortunately, you know, so many bearings. So that's going to go. That's going to change. Now, if you see my scrap chart series, you might have seen the little garage door I did there, which is just two pistons, two or four pistons. Might be four pistons, but no bearings. Well, no, that's a lie. Uh, minimal amount of bearings. Four pistons and four bearings, I think. And it has similar effect. It doesn't move quite as nice. It doesn't go that. It's more rigid, but uh, it should be much less laggy. Uh, so again, uh, I don't know if I'll take this and see if I can export it um, just for future. Because if I got damned if I'll ever remember how I created that. Um, yeah. So that's that's pretty much. Uh, what I want to do initially um, and then uh, maybe I'll change this up as well to have a different sort of door what I'm thinking is this here because of all the suspension under here so again it's more more lag that we could probably reduce so I might have a different you know I could have um, a color sensor uh, and then last of all uh, might create I want to create a second floor uh, and then sort of tidy all this up a bit uh, probably gonna move like the craft bots 
up upper floor have all this underneath the floor um, so you kind of come in with your vehicles offload all this you know any, any of your anything you've collected into these and then uh, your craft ports will be up above um, yeah uh, that's the idea so there's a lot of tidying up to do I'll do all of it or the majority of it offline um, at some point hopefully before the next episode uh, but if you've got any suggestions of what you think I should do uh, anything that you think might help or any design ideas uh, I'll welcome them cool well just a quick one today I hope you enjoyed it uh, and uh, I will see you in the next episode thanks for watching take care Thank you.